Hello my brothers and sisters. I want to talk today about clean and unclean foods. For years I was under a teaching, a false teaching, that we no longer had to keep to God's laws or His commandments to be saved. As long as I believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who died for my sins. But our Lord did not say this. Our Lord says, those who love me and believeth in me, keep my commandments. And all the commandments He gives are God's commandments. The ones from the beginning. He didn't want us to keep the traditions of men. And that's what He spent a lot of His time talking about. To the Pharisees of old that rejected Him, but accepted the law and heaped a burden upon that law of their own traditions. Today, the modern Pharisees accept Him, accept the Messiah, and reject the law. When God made this law for our good, our Lord says that whatever goes into the mouth does not defile a man, but what comes out of the mouth defiles him because it cometh from the heart. What are you saying to God from your heart? when you say you can eat whatever you want to eat and that God doesn't care when God's law specifically says there are clean and unclean foods. He said this from the beginning when He made it this way and that's why He told Noah put the clean animals into the ark by seven and the unclean in the ark by two. In Peter's vision the unclean animals were likened unto the unclean Gentiles. This is the way the Jews saw it back then. And God was telling Peter not to call the Gentiles unclean because He would cleanse them when they accept His Word. And Peter confirms the meaning of this vision after God sent him to the Gentiles and he saw them be baptized and saved. There is no scripture that will go against the words of Jesus. And everything that Jesus says points to us keeping the commandments of God. And the book of Revelation says the saints of God are those who keep the commandments and the teachings of Jesus Christ. If we're going to keep God's commandments out of our love for Him, we need to know what those are. And the clean and unclean foods are listed in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14. They don't spell out all the animals, but they give the criteria to understand what they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a list of the animals that fit those criteria. So I won't have a chance to read all of Leviticus 11 or Deuteronomy 14, but I'll tell you the requirements and the animals that fit those. This is the detailed animal list I just mentioned, the law of clean and unclean foods. I'll list the categories of animals as they come in scripture. The clean land mammals, cud chewing animals that split the hooves are discussed in Leviticus 11, 1 through 3 and Deuteronomy 14, 4 and 6. List of clean land animals, deer, venison, goat, sheep, lamb, heart, antelope, bison or buffalo, elk, reindeer, caribou, gazelle, ebex, cattle, beef, veal, giraffe, and moose. Again, those are clean land animals. The unclean land animals also includes four-footed animals with paws. Some of them by name are discussed in Leviticus 11, 4, 8, and 27. Deuteronomy 14, 7, and 8. List of unclean land mammals. Swine, which is also pig, pork, ham, lard, most sausages, and pepperoni. The badger, the bear, the camel, cat, cheetah, cooney, coyote, dog, donkey, elephant, ferret, fox, gorilla, hare, hippopotamus, horse, hyena, jackal, Kangaroo, leopard, lion, llama, monkey, mule, 
Opossum, panther, porcupine, rabbit, raccoon, rhinoceros, skunk, squirrel, tiger, wallaby, wolf, and a zebra. Again, those were the warnings. Stay away from animals. Now the clean marine life. Fishes with scales and fins. Discussed in Leviticus 11.9 and Deuteronomy 14.9. List of clean marine life, which is only fish with scales and fins. The most common, but not all. Albacore, anchovy, bass, bluefish, bonita, carp, cod, crappie, drum, flounder, garfish, grouper, grunt, haddock, halibut, hardhead, herring, mackerel, minau, mahi-mahi, or bottlenose dolphin, but this is not the mammal dolphin, perch, brim, pickle, pike, rockfish, salmon, shad, sheep shad, shipjack, smelt, snapper, sole, sunfish, tarpon, trout, tuna, and yellowtail. Now, unclean fish in marine life, discussed in Leviticus 11, 10, 12, and Deuteronomy 14, 10. A list of unclean fish in marine life, the most common to watch out to stay away from. Bullhead, abalone, cuttlefish, dolphin, catfish, clam, jellyfish, otter, eel, crab, lampet, porpoise, European turbot, crayfish, octopus, seal, marlin, lobster, squid, and calamari, walrus, paddlefish, mussel, whale, shark, prawn, stickleback, oyster, squid, scallop, sturgeon, includes most caviar, shrimp, and swordfish. Alright, unclean birds. Scriptures discussed in Leviticus 11, 13 through 20, and Deuteronomy 14, 12, and 19. The list of unclean birds and fowls. Again, the most common to stay away from albatross, bat, crow, bitten eagle, condor, cormorant, crane, buzzard, cuckoo, heron, flamingo, gleed, grossback, gull, hawk, osprey, kite, lapwing, loon, ostrich, penguin, ostrich, owl, pelican, raven, plover, woodpeak, stork, vulture, swift, water hen, swallow. Clean birds found in scripture Deuteronomy 14.20 List of clean fowl and birds, chicken, dove, pheasant, duck, partridge, grouse, gaona, fowl, quail, peafowl, goose, pigeon, teal, prairie chicken, pitermigon, turkey, sankine, sparrow, and other songbirds. Clean creeping land creatures found in Leviticus 11, 21, and 23. List of clean insects, locusts, crickets, grasshoppers, that's it. The King James makes a mistake using the word beetle in Leviticus 11.22. It's a mistranslation because there's no documented beetle with the characteristics of a clean insect. Unclean insects and creeping land creatures discussed in Leviticus 11, 29 through 30, 41, 43, and Deuteronomy 14, 19. List of unclean creeping creatures. All insects except for the locust family. Alligator, crocodile, chameleon, ferret, mouse, groundhog, lizard, mole, snake, newt, rat, salamander, frog, snail, turtle, slug, toad, and the weasel. Our God also commands for our good. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Deuteronomy 14.21 For I am the Lord that brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beast, and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Leviticus 11, 45-47